I'm going to take your smartphone and use that as a camera in multicam capture. The first thing you will need to do is go to this little website here called iRuin and download this little application called Webcam. It is a very, very tiny little software, absolutely free. There is no intrusive pop-ups or of any type. Once you have downloaded it, you'll see your icon on your PC or if it's on your Mac, and then you'll need to do the exact same thing onto your smartphone. Go to Google Play Store, download iRuin to your smartphone, launch the app, select whether you want autofocus like I did, and at the same time, also launch the app on your PC, and now these two will be connected. Make sure your telephone is already connected to your PC. Once you are in Corel Video Studio, simply click on this little icon here, record capture option, multicam capture. Click on that once. Okay, so you're gonna be presented with this little window here. Now the question is, where is my webcam? Okay, if you go over here to show all sources, you'll see it here at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna drag it, and I'm gonna turn this one on. So now I have my webcam. Hello, here I am, yes, you can see me. Now here's the cool thing, I can go for preview. And now I have a nice little preview window here, but this is where it gets real fun. Watch this. I'm going to open up and now I can use all the filters from Corel Video Studio. Isn't that cool? I can even make my eyeballs really, really big. Let's have a do that. Alrighty, righty, righty. Let's go for that. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Let's see how that looks. Maybe I take my glasses off. Hey, everybody, look how big my eyes are. <laughs> all right. So this is the cool part about it. And I wasn't even aware of this until I actually started playing with it, that you also have access to everything within Corel Video Studio. Look at this, everything is here. So that's pretty neat. So this is how you're able to activate the webcam or use your phone as a webcam. How cool is that? If you connect your smartphone to your computer using Wi-Fi, then you can put it anywhere. So now that you have your footage, what do you do with that? Well, let's have a look at a few options. Most commonly, if you did something like a tutorial using software, you quite often see this type of setup. You've got your main screen, basically this one here, and then you've got yourself or a little webcam of you somewhere on the clip in, a, in the corner like so. So what we're going to do is we add the FX filter and we're going to use picture in shape. Click and drag that. And we'll probably pick something that's very common Let's go into the filter Excel itself. And we're most probably using the floating egg. There you go. And this is a very, very common setup that you see a lot of tutorials. Tutorialist, I think that's what you say, uh, used in YouTube. So that's option number one. Our second option is actually to use the multicam editor. So let's launch multicam editor and click and drag our clips into the project and then press OK. Now I have made one mistake. I didn't record the audio on the first clip. So, but I've already done a pretty extensive tutorial on how to use the multicam editor and I will leave the link in the description for those who want to check it out. But let's do a very, very basic rundown. Let's say you want to start off with this clip. So if I highlight that, it goes blue and then you'll see that actually in the main frame or the main window you can press play now i want to hear the audio so what i'm going to do i'm going to change it to here and press auto and that's going to actually look for the audio itself but like i said i forgot to record the audio on this one i'm i know i'm not professional i'm just an amateur at this so let's press play now while that's going on so what i basically got here is i know oh look see i'm going to turn my face a bit so i'm going to take that little bit back just before i turn and then I'm going to highlight that, now it's blue, and you watch. It'll then start recording this one here. There you go, and I'm going to look back. Let's go back to this window. So now we're back onto the screen capture, and it continues. That I can now record, and I'm going to take that. If I make a mistake, I can highlight the clip and change the clip's ins and out. I can also do picture in picture here. So let's say I want to now have a little my other clip here, so I can highlight that, and it pops in. So you can see I have lots of control. Now, let's say I've done the complete project. I press OK. It is now going to form a project here. I click and drag that into the timeline. And then it 
everything will come up. So it's already edited the clips for me and it has even got the uh, picture in picture in there as well. And there you go, my friends. It's so simple to use multicam editor and multicam capture. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. 81% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So if you could leave a little thumbs up, it just lets me know what I'm doing is helping you. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>